In this video, which is part two of a four-part series on FastCase, we're going to explore the advanced case law search page, and we're going to do a Boolean search and a natural language search. Now, to get to the advanced search page, look for the link above the search box in the upper right-hand corner of the search box and click on the link. You'll go to the advanced case law search page. Now, this page has a lot of options on it. It's, I don't want to call it busy, but it's sort of busy. Up at the top, you can see that you, there are the radio buttons that allow you to switch from keyboard searching to natural language searching. You can also do a citation search here, but I don't recommend it. It's easier just to do it from the main page. This is the keyword search help, and it's on board, and it's nice because it's rather concise. It's right below the search box. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and it shows you your available options with regard to Booleans and proximity and uh, the nesting operators, the, the parentheses, the quotation marks for phrases, and so forth. However, if you're on a netbook or some other device that doesn't have a big screen, you can turn the search off search help off and it gives you a smaller page but unless you're really an expert uh, I recommend that you leave it on by clicking the checkbox there and leaving it checked. Now other limits and uh, things that you can do on this page right now we're defaulting to all jurisdictions and you can see the radio buttons there for individual courts and we're going to click the radio button for individual jurisdictions and then we're, you can expand the individual jurisdictions so that you can select individual courts you can sort of mix and match if you will the courts that you're interested in and you can see the list goes on and on and on uh, in our example today we're just going to go with all jurisdictions uh, other limits the date limit. Very useful if you know what years you're interested in. In this case we're not going to use it today but you can have a starting and an ending date and it's very easy. You don't need to worry about uh, a syntax there. The, the limit that I do care about is the maximum number of results. Uh, FastCase has a sweet spot and 1000 seems to be the sweet spot for them. You can go as high as 10,000 or as li little as 100 but I find that 1000 is like the sweet spot for FastCase so that's my recommendation. The other limit that I, you should pay attention to and uh, look at is the authority check uh, limit in the lower left hand corner. I always recommend that you, sh that you have the checkbox next to show number of citations and search, uh, search results checked. Uh, in the third video, we're going to look at the results page and you're going to see why this is very important. But suffice it to say right now, this gives you another option on your results page for sorting. You can, you can look at the hits in terms of relevance and that always works. But uh, if you have this box checked, what, what, can ha what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to sort your hits by the number of times they're cited by the other cases you retrieve in your search, which is a very useful feature. Okay, so much for talking. Let's actually type in a query. This is a Boolean uh, query. I'm searching for Fourth Amendment and trash or garbage. So I'm interested in Fourth Amendment issues with a person's trash or garbage. And you can see I've typed in Fourth Amendment with quotation marks around it. I'm using the Boolean AND to combine that concept with trash or garbage. And I'm using the nesting operators, the parentheses there, to uh, group my synonyms together. And there is the query uh, so that you can see it. Fourth Amendment and Trash or Garbage have used many of the Boolean features. Not all, but many of them. You can see the help is right below, so if I ever got stuck, it's very easy to see it. So I'm going to click on the search button to uh, submit my query, and we're going to look at a typical results page. Now, in this video, we are not going to actually explore the results page per se. I just want to get to this point to say this is a typical uh, fast case results page. You can see that it defaults to listing the hits according to relevance and the first hit there is 100% uh, 100 relevance. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and modify our search and we're going to switch from a boolean search to a natural language search. The page stays the same. Nothing has changed. But now we're going to push the radio button and you can see the page changes just slightly because uh, natural language has its own kind of rules here um, and what we're going to do though is try to mimic the same kind of query although it's going to be in natural language. So instead of saying fourth amendment with quotation marks around it and parentheses garbage or trash parentheses what I'm actually going to do is use natural language. Is a person's trash protected by the fourth amendment? Okay. So we're ready to go there, and you can see the query. Uh, I didn't have to put the, qu the question mark in. I could have if I, if I wanted to, but it's not relevant, not really important. The one thing you want to be aware of is sometimes you'll see the results will sl switch back to 100, and I'm going to go back to 1,000 for this one. I'm going to go back to that sweet spot, like I said, by selecting 1,000. Now I'm going to submit my query, 
and again I'm going to get to the results page for this particular search and what you're going to find is that when you do a natural language search as opposed to a boolean search you will get a, a different results page from time to time depending on the terms that you use so I, in, I could show you the difference between the two results page but let me just go back and show you why they would be different look at this query is a person's trash protected by the fourth amendment well there's a synonym for trash and it's garbage so what happens with natural language queries is you do tend to have to rerun them using the synonyms so is an individuals and I'm gonna have to go back and because I'm anal I'm gonna make that is an individuals garbage as opposed to is a person's trash and instead of protected I'll say covered you get the idea that you have to rerun multiple searches just to make sure that you catch all of the synonyms and alternative forms whereas with the boolean searching you can sort of combine them all together and just have one search so it is it's your choice if you want if you're comfortable with the boolean language you certainly can use that and it works fine if you're comfortable with natural language you just can probably have to run more than one search and that's it for uh, Boolean versus natural language searching. In the next video, we're actually going to play with the results on the results page and see what we can do with them now that we've got them.